Hi everyone, it's Jackie Schomburg Minen. I am truly experimenting today. This is literally the first time I've ever painted with oil paints. <laughs> so, um, I am first going to do some collage to make a base layer because it is me. And I'm going to use some black and white collage. And I just signed up for a class on oil painting with cold wax. And that is in a couple weeks. I got my supplies, couldn't stand it. So I decided I would try playing around just on my own. I've not read anything about oil paints or anything else. So what I figure with a palette knife, how much, how much harm can it, can it cause, right? I'm using some heavy gel because that's all I had around that was matte to stick the collage papers down. I didn't know if gloss would be too smooth for paint on top of that. I don't know. It was a theory. Using some tissue, but once I got to the tissue paper, I realized that I would hack it up completely if I tried straightening it out over the thick gel. So I went back to my gloss medium. <laughs> Old habits die hard. There's a reason that I use the things that I use. I just like using them. So I do have a decent amount of oil paint selection colors selected. And even though it's going to be a landscape class, I shouldn't even say that. I'm not even sure it's meant to be a landscape class. The teacher is my friend Maria, um, who's a wonderful artist. Uh, she paints these gorgeous landscapes. Uh, over water and they're just amazing. I'll link to her Instagram in the description. She's the one teaching the class and I figured I would get the closest colors I could find to Jackie colors. So I got some phthalo turquoise and some Payne's gray. That's what I just squeezed out there. Some black and this is a chromatic black which I'm excited about. Chromatic black means that it's not it's it's a mix of colors to create the black. So it's a richer black than just a flat black paint. So they don't really have that in acrylic paint that I know of, a chromatic black. This is the cold wax. I'm just going with a 50-50 mix of oil paint to cold wax. And there's one very big reason I'm only using a catalyst wedge and a palette knife for this painting and that is because I do not have anything to clean brushes with oil paint. I don't have any mineral spirits or anything else so keeping it very very chill easy cleanup. One of the reasons I haven't used oil paints in the past is because I'm afraid of the cleanup. <laughs> And afraid's not the best word. Um, I don't, I just don't want to deal with other solutions. I want water-based things that I can easily clean and rinse and wash. And based on the horrendous treatment that I already have of my paintbrushes that have been sitting in water for weeks at this point, um, I didn't want to have to worry about using special mineral spirits, etc. Plus, I don't like fumes. I'm sitting right next to the oil paints still and I'm still smelling the fumes which I should probably go to a different room at this point um, but it's really fun to try something completely different now it's still paint you know the general uh, principles of composition and everything else like none of that has changed but even still using a different type of paint was really cool I didn't know what to expect, if it would be different or not very different. And painting wet on wet was fun. It was an adventure. I'm used to acrylic paint, which dries very, very quickly, especially relative to oil paint, which takes a very long time to dry, days, instead of a few minutes, like acrylic. So it was interesting but the nice thing with oil is that you can while it will still keep blending if you wanted it to keep blending with the colors 
You can do that all day long. Uh, painting wet on wet, you can't, right? Whenever you put paint down using a, a palette knife, you're probably gonna be picking paint up as well and blending it in, unless you use, I assume, giant thick globs of paint, which I am not doing. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, um, you can you can scrape away the paint, as I'm doing right here with a pencil, or thin it out by using paper towels or anything, wet wipes, or a scraper or a wedge, and you can pull back the paint whenever you want to. And that was really cool. It's very smooth and buttery. I'm adding this, let's see, this color is called Transparent Earth Orange. I'm just using Gamblin Artist Oil Colors. And I wanted to try this. There's also an Earth Red. And I went with the orange thinking that maybe it would be kind of like quinacridone gold, which it's, I mean, it is and it's not. It warms it up a little bit. It's kind of an earthy color. This is yellow ochre that I'm using, adding some white to that to make a cream, creamy yellow color. I don't, I'm not really thinking about composition from a structure perspective. I'm just moving colors around. And it was really fun to play. Definitely were times when I looked at my picture and thought, oh boy, okay. And since everything is wet, I can't just wipe off the color like I could with acrylic. So instead, I'm in the moment trying to decide what I'm going to add over that, or am I going to scrape it back? There are certainly many ways to change the trajectory of where things are going. This is my trying the paper towels. And if you keep finding clean parts of the towel, you can keep wiping things away. This is a baby wipe, which cleared it off a bit more. And I'm using the Catalyst Wedge just to kind of gently, I wouldn't even call it spreading the paint. I'm kind of just dragging the Catalyst Wedge across the top of the painting, trying to leave colors without taking too much paint with me as I go. I enjoyed that when I did scrape colors away, seeing what was left over and kind of blending in with the the background was kind of neat so for example if I put orange on and then scraped it back some of the orange would stay but it would incorporate itself into the background as well got very excited with the orange <laughs> finally a rainbow color to work with One of the dangers that I quickly realized was because these colors don't dry as you use them, you really are in danger of everything turning to mud. So at a certain point, I just stopped because I wanted to make sure that I didn't just w go way overboard, which I probably did anyway. But it was all in the name of experimentation. I like this almost baby gray blue that I made. It's a little bit, you know, it's not quite as cutesy as baby blue. I mix the Payne's gray with some creamy white. Warm white, as it's called here. 
and I'm mixing some red with orange. The red that I found, I didn't get, I don't like using cadmium reds and cadmium oranges and cadmium yellows because of the heavy metals in them. So this is called, gosh, I don't even know how to pronounce this, perylene red, maybe, P-E-R-Y-L-E-N-E -E red. But I like the color. I was, I was wondering if it was going to be as vibrant as I wanted it to be. And it's pretty vibrant. And because I mixed it with the orange, it's much more of a tomato red-orange than a pure red here. This is a silicone brush. I don't know if that's the actual name for it, but it's not an actual paintbrush, despite what it looks like here. It has a silicone tip, much like a color shaper. I don't know what I was hoping for from a composition perspective. So this is definitely not a composition video where I'm teaching you anything about composition. But I like what I found. And I think that I'm happy with the exploration this afternoon. I did enjoy working with this and I'm excited to try this again after I have the class with Maria because I'm sure that she will teach me many things that I do not know currently and just give me more perspective on all of the things that oil and cold wax can do. It's not nearly as scary to use oil paints as I had apparently talked myself into for the past 40 years. Very silly. Because again, it's only paint, right? How different can paints be? Now, it's definitely an investment to buy all these paints. I probably spent $150 on paints and supplies for this class. Um, but that's because I wanted to and I wanted to just dive in. And it was really nice to be able to, to scrape into the paint whenever I wanted and however much I wanted. I mixed some of the black with the Payne's Gray. Not so much to get a lighter black or a darker Payne's Gray, but really just because I didn't want to take out any more cold wax. And the Payne's Gray already had the cold wax mixed in. So a little bit of cheating. Now this composition, I'll use the term very uh, generously, is not structured very much at all. I played around in Procreate with these next two images just to see what it would look like if I blocked out some black or white areas. And I do like those, but I didn't like them enough to commit. So here you have it. Thank you so much for watching my experiment with oil paint. Uh, if you liked what you saw and you'd like to get more videos, I release new videos every Sunday. Please subscribe. I would love to have you as part of this community. Have a wonderful day. Take care.